Hello my friends and welcome back. Today we're going to look at the King of the Hill. Well, sort of. The UV5R has been around for a very long time. It has introduced a lot of us into the hobby. Uh, it still introduces people into the hobby. It is an affordable radio. It offers a lot of features. It works reasonably well. It is small and portable. It has a lot of accessories available. You can change antennas, there are headsets, there are batteries, there's all sorts of stuff. But every time there is a product in pretty much any industry that is sort of the very best product there is out there, there's always going to be somebody that's going to come out and challenge it. So in order to challenge it, you have to do it in one of two ways. You either have to provide the same things for a lower price in order to compete, or you have to offer a lot more features for the same price in order to attract those buyers and get that market share. That is the case that we're going to look at today. Today we're going to look at the UV K5 from Quan Shank, which is also available under many different other names. Uh, not the least even a Rad Tell. Even Rad Tell is offering this radio. It is offered by several uh, Chinese brands. And today what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the K5 and we're going to see if it is any better than the UV5R, how, and what differences, and is it really worth buying or not. So let's get started. If we compare them side by side, you will see that they're both pretty much almost the same size. They're not far apart as far as dimensions. The K5 is a little teeny tiny bit taller, but otherwise they're about the same width and pretty much look a lot alike, but they're quite different. If we look at the uh, K5, the K5 has a very large knob which for some reason is orange and one thing I do like about it, it does have a guard to protect it so you don't accidentally turn it on or off. Something that I always thought was missing on the UV5R and is available sort of a lot of for 3D printer people that have them. You can make a little shield on the side that'll fit on it. There's a lot of files out there I've seen. Never really bothered doing that because in all honesty I don't use my UV5R as much as I used to. I've gone to different radios that I'm pretty much playing around with. So if we look at another thing, you will notice the screen on the K5 is a lot bigger than the one on the UV5R. Also, it is much brighter. It is actually a black and white screen, so you don't have the three colors like you do on the UV5R. However, it is a larger screen. You can see it better even when you light up. It looks a lot nicer. Characters are very legible you can enter your information very nicely in it and yes you probably notice the frequency is 119 we'll get to that in a minute uh, the keypad is kinda comparable it looks somewhat the same but it doesn't function the same way we got used to the UV5R doing certain things and using certain features on it by just pushing the button and getting into it the K5, on the other hand, you have to use the F button down here. So you can press the F button if you want to scan. And then you can go to uh, channel A or B. And you can go to NOAA Radio. Yes, it comes programmed with NOAA Radio Standard. That's another added bonus that we'll talk about here in a minute. Uh, the menu structure is kind of similar, but again, different you just have to scroll through the steps there are about 51 different entries that you can choose from so you can pretty much select what you want pretty much the same way you exit or you press it again to enter into that particular mode that you want to so there are some similarities there but again uh, there are some major differences some of the features that this radio has that the UV5R has always lacked and this seems to be a new trend now this does have the ability to be charged through a USB-C port so that's a nice feature to have it does use the standard um, Kenwood connect for programming software is available online 
you can download it from the Quan Shang site. It is a pretty nice CPS actually. Um, a lot more detailed than um, most of the software that's out there. It even has some more features than uh, Chirp. No, this radio is not programmable via Chirp, but you can use the CPS. Um, it does offer a lot of features and functionality. Now, as far as frequencies are concerned, this radio did come from AliExpress. Uh, it did come, if you want to call it locked, locked to ham frequencies, but um, it's very, very easy. It's actually easier than a UV5R to, uh, to kind of open the frequencies on it. Uh, I'm not going to delve into that. Please don't post asking for it. I'm not going to answer those questions. Uh, just look through on YouTube. There are ways to do it. You can actually open all the frequencies on this radio. Now this radio does come with FM uh, radio reception, so you can use it as an FM radio if you want to. It does come with AM airband. Yes, AM airband. When you select the airband, it will automatically switch to AM, which you switch on through the menu at the start of your programming. And then when you put it on airband, it will come on. Now, I live close to an airport, so I use the airband to listen to some uh, tower frequencies. It's, it's kind of interesting. 119 is usually my, uh, my go-to. That's one of the frequencies used by a tower uh, near me. So it's kind of fun to, to listen to air traffic sometimes and just what's going on with that. Uh, this radio will also transmit in the uh, 1.25 uh, range. It'll transmit obviously 70 centimeter, 2 meter ham bands. All those, uh, yes, it'll also transmit GMRS, FRS, MERS. So pretty much any of those frequencies. Actually, the listing usually indicate this is uh, radio from 50 to 600 megahertz. So that pretty much covers everything. Um, not unlike the UV5R, even though there's a large display and you can see two frequencies, you can put memories, you can put frequency, you can put channels, you can put whatever you want, you can put a name on there. You cannot actually sync it to where one will show you all the features and you have one screen doing everything. So you can have dual reception, but obviously you can't change that. Not any more than you could on the UV5R. Some features this does have is it's 200 channel as, a, as opposed to 128 and you can put two scan lists. To... So once you select which list you want, you can go to one particular list to scan, and then you could go in and just hit your scan function, scanning begin. and it'll start scanning through the frequencies you want. So you can change that and go to a different listing if you want, and that way you can have two different selections. Um, Another standard feature on this radio that I mentioned a little earlier is this one has NOAA channels pre-programmed. Now there's a bit of a trick to get into them. You push that, go to NOAA, and... Coming south overnight. Mostly cloudy in the evening, then becoming partly cloudy. Waves 2 to 4 feet subsiding to 1 to 3 feet. Thursday, southeast winds 5 to 10 knots becoming east. Frequency mode. So you can change between frequency mode memory mode and select what you want. You can also scan through the 10 NOAA frequencies that are already programmed in the radio and it'll just scan through all 10 of them so wherever you're located is going to get that. Now again another nice feature which is included standard on this radio is the ability to scan uh, other frequencies off the air and just copy them and save them into this radio. So just as a quick example um, we're going to get the UV5R here and we're going to turn this one into scan mode. Scanning begin. So now it is in scan mode. And I'm going to trigger a signal on GMRS, actually on FRS, just to be legal. And there it is. It gives you the frequency and the fact that I have a CTCSS code on there. And it tells you what it is. Now you can very quickly just save that into your uh, memory position and you already have that frequency in there. That's again a very nice feature so you can use it both as a frequency scanner and um, as a subcode uh, scanner at the same time. Overall this is a pretty nice radio. Um, I am preferring it to the UV5R even though I got so used to the UV5R. This is kind of becoming uh, a new quick go-to. 
it's not my main go-to obviously but for a nice little small size radio uh, with all the features the flashlight uh, the, the alarm things that you and I probably never use anyway uh, fairly easy to program lots of features and now I'm seeing this on AliExpress with prices anywhere from um, $17 plus shipping or about $30 and usually around $28 which is the mark where the UV5R used to be. So good bargain, good radio, has good audio, even has f different settings for the mic sensitivity so if you're not transmitting, if you can't be heard very well, you can adjust the sensitivity of the microphone. There are some features into this radio that the UV5R never caught up to. Uh, obviously Baofeng is coming up with newer radios almost every day so we're seeing a lot of new features uh, Quan Sheng has been around for a while. They're not totally new, but this is a new release in the market. And in the last couple of weeks, uh, AliExpress is just inundated with this little guy. Is it worth it? Well, it's a $25 radio. Take your chances. I like it. It works. Does everything it's supposed to do. I've um, checked the power on it. Of course, it's under 5 watt. It comes at about 4.1 watt. Um, roughly. Uh, I don't have more sophisticated equipment to do more testing. Well, the antenna seems to be pretty good, the one that comes with it though, which is kind of interesting as well. Must have tuned it somehow. Um, that's about all I got to say about this one. I want to thank you all for watching. Remember to please give me a thumbs up. It really helps with the channel. I am doing a giveaway on one of my other videos. Uh, look it up. There's, there's a free giveaway. If you look at my uh, UV-17 review and comparison. Um, I'm, I'm going to do a free giveaway of radio and we'll keep doing that as time progresses. So please subscribe and thanks for watching.